Hi everybody. Um, today we are going to talk about recognizing complexity in an author's argument. That is the plan for today's class. Uh, so if you are out of class today because you are not taking the argumentative exam, you took it yesterday, um, we want to talk about that complexity in an author's argument with Ugly Tourist. So I've brought up a PDF here of the Ugly Tourist. And we're going to talk a little bit about why Jamaica Kincaid's argument is considered complex, even though she makes some generalizations, right, within the essay. She makes a generalization about who we are. And that's in the very first, very long paragraph. Um, from day to day, the people you're supposed to love on the whole do. From day to day, as you walk down a busy street in a large and modern and prosperous city in which you work and live, dismayed, puzzled, a cliche, but only a cliche can explain you. So she describes us as a cliche, a generalization, right? However, she talks about our us and a generalization as being complex individuals. So as we go through this, we, yes, we may live and work in a prosperous city or something along the lines, um, but it also talks about us one day when you are sitting somewhere alone in that crowd, that awful feeling of displacedness comes over you. And really, as an ordinary person, you are not well equip equipped to look far inward and set yourself aright. Because being ordinary is already so taxing, and being ordinary takes all you have out of you. And though the words, I must get away, do not actually pass across your lips, you make an amniotic sack of the modern experience to being a person visiting heaps of death and ruin and feeling alive and inspired at the sight of it to being a person lying on some faraway beach. So she talks about us going about our lives in the normal everyday scope of things, but then she also writes about how within those lives, we are basically lonely individuals. And the reason that we get away from our everyday normal lives is because we feel that, what she says, feeling that awful feeling of displacedness. Now, what is complex about that is what is complex about human beings. As a tourist, we try to escape our complexity as human beings by, and displacedness by going to a place that we are already naturally displaced. So one of her layers of complexity is that she writes about how we as individuals feel connected but alone. So we go to a place where we feel no connection in order to feel less disconnected when we return to where we should be connected. That's why, you know, that first part is a very complex argument. And then when you think about tourism itself, how complex, how many layers are there to tourism? So she brings about, about the idea about how unfair it is because the natives of the place cannot get away. They are too poor. They are too poor to go anywhere. They are too poor to escape the reality of their lives. And they are too poor to live properly in the place where they live, which is the very place you, the tourist, want to go. All right. So that is a complex argument, the layers of tourism. We feel lonely in our life. We escape. The natives cannot escape. On the one hand, when we visit a place, tourism raises the income of the people who live there, right? We give our money to the place, the tourism industry, and the people who are working in that industry rely on us for their salaries. On the other hand, tourism in, in these communities also raises the prices within those communities so that the people living there cannot afford it because when we go to a place we can pay more for goods and services than, than the people who live there can and therefore those goods and services become out of reach for the people who live there. So while tourism is important for some countries because they make a lot of money through that, the people who's, who are working as tourists don't or as tourist services can't afford the same services that we afford when we go there. So I want you to think about those complex arguments and we'll talk about those a lot tomorrow, but when you are looking at a piece of reading for the AP exam or you're writing your own argument, I want you to think about it as being something complex. What makes this issue 
more than just a black and white issue. What are the gray parts of this issue? And I really want to talk about that um, when we talk about this Monday in the Socratic Seminar. All right. Have a great day and a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.